What's going on boys and girls? We're installing a four double pumper system here in this 2014 Chevy SS sedan. And uh, it's been a while since I've had to do one of these, but I figured I'd take a video of it real quick. And that's uh, bypassing the fuel pump control module, uh, what GM calls the K38 chassis control module. Uh, so the fuel pump control module, this guy in the SS sedan, <clears throat> lives underneath the battery tray here and he controls the fuel pump and you might even recognize some of these wires like if you were to look at the fuel pump wiring see there's your uh sorry there's the gray wire that goes to your fuel pump from the fuel pump control module and then there's the ground that goes to the fuel pump from the fuel pump control module here's your incoming ground and your incoming battery positive so <clears throat> what we're going to be concerned with today are these four wires here and this one wire here uh, if you need a new trigger for your fuel system. So I'll go ahead and explain them all real quick. So this violet wire with the black tracer is the run crank ignition one voltage. So that can be your trigger to whatever fuel system you're running. In our case, it's going to trigger our, I haven't wired it all in yet. It's gonna trigger our floor double pumper here. Uh, so there's pump one, pump two, and then you'll see there's a, there's our power going in, this big one's here. And then you'll see remote one, and that's gonna be our, our turn on for our primary. And then remote two is gonna be our turn on for our uh, secondary pump, sorry. So, now back to this guy here. So, this is what we have to do. So, here's our trigger. So, that's going to turn on our fuel pumps or turn on our fuel pump module or whatever we put in. Now, these four here, these two blue and these two white wires are bus wires and what GM has done is they have used this module as a pass-through for the controller area network bus so it's basically a computer network where the computers talk to each other <clears throat> back and forth and send information uh, like speed signal and stuff like that otherwise you'd have to have you know 15 speed sensors on the car for the 15 computers in the car so uh, if you just unplug this FPCM, uh, anything that came behind it in the bus isn't going to work properly, isn't going to get its messages, and you're going to have a bunch of uh, lights and uh, all kind of uh, idiot lights and check engine lights and codes stored in all kind of modules. So what we do, as you see here, uh, let me see, pins five and six are... GM LAN serial data positive, and then that one there. So blue and blue, and then those same wires on the other two pins are your white and white. So you're gonna take your white to the white, blue to the blue, and then you're all done. You can put the little, ah, where is it? You can put the little cover back over the uh, connector and cover everything up. And uh, what I typically do is just zip tie it up out of the way here where it's not gonna rub on anything. So, hope this helps.